Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I will be making a quite cool like section system or like a system for your items in a UI library or something like that. But yeah, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so let's start with creating a screen GUI. Can just name this like UI. Let's create a scrolling frame. I want it to be scrolling so I can scroll with it. I'm going to change the size to something like 0, 0,500. Let's say like 250. Nah. There. Okay. And now let's do 0 0.5 minus 300. 75. So these minuses have to be the ha half of these numbers. So minus 300 minus 175. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't want to show the scroll bar, so I'll do it. Just remove that quick. There, we can make the background like, I don't know dark like that, can have a border, that like, you yeah, know, for, there you go, I guess, okay, actually let's just make it like, there I guess, okay, but now this will be our like section frame, sections, and then we will have a frame right here, which will be to the right. We'll make this size like, let's say 0 0.5 minus like, let's say 10, then one. Oh yeah, shit. That will be around. Bruh. Okay, uh, 350, 0 0.5, yeah that works, okay, uh, f 3, no, 6, nah, no, 350, there, okay, that took a while, uh, can make this, it's transparent, this will be our left frame then let's duplicate it and this will be our right frame position one no 0 0.5 10 there now we have two frames and yeah we obviously just have to insert items i will make a ui list layout for both of these let's just make some paddings like 10 Let's add a frame to test. Yeah, I think we want it to be in the center. Top, that's fine. Okay. There. Now both of them have that. Let's just make this into like a section just so we can test with it, I guess. Uh, rename section background. Yeah, I don't really care about the background. Let's just, yeah, I, do, I actually don't think we need to do this. Let's just jump into the scripting. So as said, I will do this in Roblox Studio, but, but it's basically the same thing. Sorry if I'm bad at talking, but I've been on like a vacation, so I'm not that used to doing this. Let's just remove that. Okay, so let's just create a function for um, creating a new section like new section there okay so in here we need a section like a frame frame doesn't need a parent at the moment let's make this like section that size equals 10 then 
let's just do a random number here after random so this will be just the uh, one that's the size of this and then minus 10 so it will have like five pixels there and five pixels there so it isn't the exact no we actually don't need that because we did that so there's already a gap between there okay so now then it makes the height between 100 and 300 let's make the section color color free dot from rgb let's just do math dot random math dot random this is just a random color i think there's a better way to do this but i just do it like that okay so now we will want to do local section frame equals script dot parent dot left let's just start with left and then if uh, if left is larger oh yeah if section frame dot ui list layout dot absolute content size dot to y is larger than script dot parent dot right dot ui list layout dot absolute dot y then so this is just if there is more items in here than that then we want to add item to here instead of here so then section frame equals dot parent dot right and then let's do section dot parent equals section frame let's just test that i guess let's do this will just create 10 new sections so as long as i is longer no smaller than 10 it adds one more so this will just loop through 1 to 10 and this is checks the size of all the items so the no the length so the longest no the one with the least amount of items is the one which we want to add it to so let's just try that you will see that it adds it here could make like a yeah let's have like a seconds delay so we can see it happen wait one then i wait 0 0.5 there that's fine yeah you can see that this is the cool thing if we wouldn't have made it into two frames this it would have just put one there one there and then gone down here and there would have been a massive gap right there and yeah that's basically it you can easily make this into a like tab no what's it called section system item system whatever for your own ui library or whatever i use the same technique in the ui library from my newest ui library creation video i can show it on uh, the screen right now or something if i remember it but yeah this is a really simple script use it for whatever you want to but that's everything for me for today bye